November 16th, 2012, and we had students from around the country that all converged to Life West here in Hayward. And it was the first time that there's been an all-student speaking summit for chiropractic. You know, a lot of docs were surprised, a lot of students were surprised that their peers were able to come out and inspire them like they thought they could only be inspired at, a, at an event like The Wave or Cal Jam. We really realized that success doesn't come to those who wait idly by, it comes to those who are doers, to the ones who toil in the trenches, to the ones like us who really put together an event that we only have three weeks to do and we're not going to wait till we get out into practice to become successful. We plan on becoming successful now because it's in who we are and in who every single one of those speakers are amazing what can happen when a group of minds get together and get behind an idea because you can create something magnificent and that's just what we saw on November 16th 2012 with Step Into the Future the first ever all student speaking summit that is waiting for you. And whether or not that you're here because you're going to be a future chiropractor or you know somebody who's forgotten to remember what they love because so many people have been focusing on what's wrong with them, this is what it's about. Because you can go here. You can go here when you step out of that fear, raise the bar of which you've been living your life. And I just figured out earlier today that that's the mechanism behind miracles. Because if something outside of space and time can make its way into space and time, then that can actually materialize and shift something in reality that we can't explain within the confines of physical science. Because we can't measure it because we don't have the gadgetry because we're in space and time. It's outside yeah. of space and time. It makes sense. I'm done. <laughs> A chiropractor's adjustment is one of the most, if not the most, profound tool in the healthcare profession to get sick people well. We follow. It's because we realize that today is our future and that we are the future of chiropractic. We have the obligation and the honor of carrying this profession to the next place where it needs to go. And that's not reaching the 10% that it is now. We want to reach the 90%. We want to reach the 100%. We love the world, and the only thing we want to do is help. And we realize that chiropractic is the portal that we have chosen, more likely has chosen us, to help the world.